Fora TV. The world is thinking. This guy here, that is not the same species as this. It's a different species from a different family altogether. So these are angelfishes, and these two on the bottom here are surgeon fishes. They are mimic surgeon fishes. They, they're mimics of the angelfish. They imitate with a very high degree of perfection, I might add, uh, the uh, angelfishes. And the reason for this mimicry has, beca has been unknown for a long, long time, until 2004, a group from Australia published a study showing that uh, so there's a, if you ever gone diving or if you ever took a time to look at the, the coral, the, especially the big Philippine tank here, you notice that every reef has a very nasty, very aggressive type of fish, the damselfishes. Damselfishes are small and they're very aggressive and they're herbivore fishes, they eat plants and they keep little territories that some people refer to as farms. So they literally farm algae inside their territories, and the best algae in the entire reef is inside their farm because they don't consume all the algae inside their farm. So they keep the algae. There's a very diverse algal community inside their territory, and every other, any other fish that is, eats plants that gets close to their territory, they chase them away. They try to bite it. So the best algae in the entire reef is inside the damsel fish territory. Now, they don't, they don't want to spend a lot of energy, so they don't chase fish that eat other things from inside the territory. They only chase the herbivores. Now, the uh, surgeon fish are herbivores, but the angelfish are not. The angelfish are spongivores. So by looking like the spongivore angelfish, the uh, surgeon fish, they gain access to the territories of the damselfish, and they gain a feeding advantage over other surgeon fishes in the area. So their diets is about 30 to 40 percent better in nutrition than the diets of other surgeon fish in the same area that don't have access to the dental fish territories. <laughs>